A detailed analysis was made by Seagray on what type of switchgear technologies you should use, uh, especially in the high voltage substation. And they found out that the first preference should be given to the mixed type of switchgear technology, then the gas insulated type of technology, and lastly, the air insulated type of technology. But if you look around, it's not the same scenario, it's exactly opposite in the practical life. Even today, most of the substations are built with air insulated type of switchgear technology. Then comes the gas insulated type and lastly and rarely you will find the mixed type of switchgear technology. So what's going on here? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the aspects, some of the factors that are considered while making the selection of the switchgear technology for the substation and why the textbook analysis is not matching with the practical world. Before we go and understand the different technologies and their pros and cons, let me quickly give you a brief about what are the different switchgear technologies that we have. Majorly, we have three types of technology. The air insulated one, that is AIS. Second is gas insulated switchgear, that is GIS. And thirdly, the medium type of switchgear, that is MT. As the air insulated switchgear, as the name suggests, is uses the atmospheric air for insulation purpose. So you will find the insulation provided between the two phases is with the help of the atmospheric air. So that's that's one that is air insulated type. The second one is the gas insulated type. Now in this type of uh, technology, we replace the atmospheric air with some sort of insulating gas. For example, SF6. Now since the SF6 dielectric properties are much more stronger than the air. Uh, this type of switchgear becomes very very compact nowadays uh, people are also talking about going sf6 free we have some technologies that can replace the sf6 gas altogether uh, in the switchgear if you're interested in knowing more on that i have a dedicated video i'll put a link for it down in the description you can go and check it out after this video the third type of technology that we have is the mts or the mixed type of switchgear technology now in this, as the name suggests, uh, we have combination of AIS and the combination of GIS. So it's a hybrid technology. You will find this hybrid technology mostly in the high and extra high voltage side, not majorly in the medium voltage side. So these are the three technologies that we have predominantly in today's world uh, for the switch gear. Now, a very important point that I want you to inform is that all these technologies their technology may be different, but they serve the one single purpose in the substation. So it's not that one is better, another is not better. Ultimately, they will serve the same purpose. Of course, everything has its own pros and cons, which we will talk about. And the selection is majorly driven by them. So you can compare this technology with maybe you're a person and you want to reach somewhere. So you can take a bus, you can take a train or maybe a flight. Ultimately, you are going to reach to that destination, but the methodology of going to that destination is different. The same way this technology is also operates. AIS, GIS and MTS works for the one single purpose and they do their job perfectly well. Now first let's start with the air insulated switchgear. Now air insulated switchgear, uh, even if you look at the report given by the Seagray that almost today, almost 70% of the substation in the whole world, especially the high voltage substations, still uses the air insulated type of switchgear technology. So you can, you know, imagine the popularity of this type of technology. The reason, of course, it's the most cost effective solution available out there. So it's pretty obvious that why everybody loves this type of technology and why still it dominates at the market. Uh, it's as I mentioned, it is very cost effective. And secondly, if you want to do the future extension, so in your existing substation, if the capabilities are full and you want to add another transformer bay, you can do that easily and without much trouble in the air insulated type of switch gear so those are some of the advantages that are offered by ais and these are major advantages and that's why they are very very popular but if you talk about the cons of this or the disadvantages of this is that they need large amount of space of course we are using air as an insulating medium and you cannot have it compact so you will have to have uh, sufficient length between the two devices between the two phases so that uh, we have sufficient amount of insulation strength so that is one of the major uh, drawback of this 
also this type of technology is not suitable for harsh environmental conditions so for example you have a site where there is a lot of pollution or coastal area maybe uh, ais is not the right type of technology there so when do we choose the air insulated switchgear technology generally the ais is chosen when uh, the substation that we are building is in the rural area or maybe the semi urban area where the land cost are cheaper it's not skyrocketing like the metro cities so there selecting the ais is still the practical choice because it's going to give you the same performance and same output as that of the better available technologies and also it is prefer where there is not much of the pollution and land availability is not a problem so that is the major driving factor of uh, the ais you would have seen in the rural areas the lands will still have the ais you may not find any gas insulated type of switchgear there so that's when the ais is selected now before we talk about the gas insulated switchgear let's discuss about the mts that is mixed technology switchgear as the name suggests it's a hybrid version so we have some part of ais we have some part of uh, gis so for example you can club the circuit breaker disconnector and current transformer in one single module and rest of the equipments you can use it as the air insulated switchgear uh, the advantage that you get here is it is still compact compared to the air insulated switchgear and it is still cheaper compared to the gas insulated switchgear uh, but the problem with this is uh, they are not very popular so you will find very rare uh, substations that uses this type of uh, uh, technology uh, they are still expensive than the ai so that is one point that you must consider but then the question is when do we use it generally you will find if you have existing air insulated substation and you want to extend that you have additional power that needs to be managed and you want to add another transformer bay but you don't have sufficient space to install ais bay in that case uh, this mixed type technology switchgear can be the choice because they will save you a space uh, and also you don't have to put money as you would put when you use the gas insulated switchgear i've seen a substation uh, it's a 66 kv by 11 kv substation uh, where they have one ais bay and they have another space limitation so they have installed a mixed type of technology so you can see one bay of ais one bay of the mixed technology uh, switchgear so uh, in those scenarios you can use and this type of technology Uh, is capable of uh, you know hand handling the mild level of pollution so uh, in those spaces also this can be a good choice and now let's talk about the gas insulated switchgear now gis uh, among the all other technology offers the highest amount of advantages if you compare it with uh, the ais it is almost 10 times smaller than that of the AIS technology it is much more safer because everything is installed in a, a metal enclosure and everything is at the dead potential so the safety wise it is highest also you need very rare amount of maintenance on this gas insulated switchgear so they offer a lot of advantages compared to the other two technologies but yes of course uh the advantages comes with its own cost so this technology is the most expensive option available out there so you need to make sure that you also have sufficient budget for this another problem with this thing is of course the maintenance is not regular but in case something goes wrong with this uh, then troubleshooting that becomes very very critical also the expansion of this type of substation is also critical it's troublesome and not easy as that of the ais i have discussed about the detailed comparison of advantages disadvantages of ais gis the comparison between these two if you are interested to learn more in detail about that i'll put link for all those videos down in the description you can go and check it out so the question is when the gis is selected number 1 if your substation is in the urban areas or in the metro cities where the land rates are skyrocketing in that case selecting the gas insulated switchgear is the right choice also in the industrial area where the space is again a very big challenge especially if you are having the medium voltage then you can choose the medium voltage type of switchgear in that scenarios 
also they are highly suitable for the harsh environmental conditions so if you have a factory where you are producing cements and that's going to generate a lot of pollution so gis can be the choice because gis is not affected by the external um, environmental conditions also this gis can be placed inside a building so uh, it can take care of the aesthetic part of uh, the design as well so you have built a, a very good building and every attention is taken by the air insulated switch gear that is outside the building so that's not going to work so the aesthetic is important to you you can build a small building and put the substation inside that so in those scenarios generally the gas insulated switch gears are selected you would see generally in the metro stations uh, and the crowded area the gis is more preferred over ais so that is some of the scenarios where gis is preferred now please note all these uh, considerations are generic considerations okay every single project is unique uh, every project may have a different geographical conditions and a lot of other factors on which the choice of the switch gear depends so all those things must be considered including uh, the things that we discussed if you want to know more on the switch gear part i have a dedicated playlist on that i'll put a link for it down in the description uh, you can go and learn more about this uh, using those videos i hope you found this video helpful and understood when we select ais when we select gis and when we select the mix technology switch gear if you found this video helpful then do like it do share it and do comment what you liked about this video thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then Keep watching, keep learning.